then her husband came in. Um, he was out of town on work, and he came in, and um, I met with him, explained everything, and he said, he said, I tell you what, um, he said, I like you. You seem like you know what you're doing, but I don't, I don't buy from door knockers. This is such a dumb thing to say. <laughs> and he, he absolutely, I mean, I, I tried and tried, and he absolutely, he said, he said, I don't, I don't buy from door knockers. I said, you know, I said, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I like to go out and, and get work instead of sit on my butt. You, I, you know, you, you would think that you would appreciate somebody that, that right. likes to do some work for what they get. And, yeah. Um, well, and one thing that, um, this is something that you can incorporate into like your door knocking approach is how can you differentiate yourself from that group? And again, this is like one guy, that's like your one out of 50 oh, is yeah. going to be weird like that. If even that, yeah. If yeah, like one out of a hundred really. But if that does happen, like one of the things, and if you've gone through some of the lead gen, you've heard me say, talk about this. Um, but one of the things that I really like to do is when I knock on a door, I act like it's very out of the ordinary that I would do it. So I'll, I'll knock and I'll be like, hey, I'm really sorry to bother you. Like, I hate knocking on people's doors. I just had to stop by to let you know. Have you heard me say that like a mm -hmm. thousand times now? Well, yeah. that does. it's so effective, Cody, because they're already, if you have that person that was going to be annoyed or was already like, who's, who's at my door? You, you've gotten over the They almost feel sympathy hump. for you. Well, it's not even, it's like you've, you've already, you've kind of separated yourself from the herd because what does everyone else do? They just knock, knock, and then just go right into their pitch. Well, they're yeah. not listening to anything you're saying when you do that. So if you're just like, this is just, have you, have you gone through my lesson called the power of acknowledgement yet? I don't think so. Okay. I want you to listen to that tonight. That will be your next lesson to go through. Um, but what it's about is anytime you're interacting with people, you have to think about and speak to whatever it is that's going on in their head, right? So when you're knocking on somebody's door, what are they thinking, honestly? Well, that, that they're going to have to spend money. Who the hell is this? What do they want? I'm trying to make hamburger helper for my squealing four-year-old. Like, what do you get? <laughs> right? So they're, they're thinking, like, what do you need? I'm not interested. Whatever. So instead of just killing them with kindness and trying to, like, go into your approach and be super friendly, you need to acknowledge that. You need to acknowledge their feelings first, which is, you're bugging me. I'm busy right now. Okay? So when you go up to the door and you're just like, hey, how's it going? I'm really sorry to knock on your door. I hate knocking people's doors. Um, I just had to let you know, like, do you know your neighbor over here? And they're like, yeah. Well, now they're listening to you. They're engaged because you're not doing anything salesy. You've acknowledged that you know that they're annoyed that you knocked on their door. And they're like, oh, so that's out of the way. They're not thinking about that anymore. Okay. Then you named, you're asking them a question. So they're like thinking about, oh, why? What's relevant about that neighbor? And you're name dropping. They know that you know somebody that they know. That was a really crazy thing to say. So then you can go into like, yeah, I just had to stop by because I just got done checking out their roof. And they actually had some damage, you know, from that storm a couple weeks ago. Some houses out here don't have any, like the ones that are one or two years old. Um, but most people whose roofs are like four, five, six years and older seem to have some damage. Anyway, they had some, you know, a couple of the neighbors down the street had some. So I have to come, I have to come back here on Wednesday and Thursday and do some more inspections for the neighbors. I can pop by on Wednesday at either four or does 530 work better for you guys? Do you see how different that is from what most people are doing? And maybe you haven't heard other people door knock, but it's terrible <laughs> what most yeah. people do, you know, and they're trying yeah. their best. But when you do all those things, they're actually listening to you instead of the whole time that tape recorder in their mind is go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm busy. I'm annoyed. Right. They're just like, oh, well, what's going on? So then you can really speak to them. And now, like when you do have that customer, that a-hole that was like, I didn't buy from door knockers, which is the dumbest thing ever. Um, if you do have him, you've separated yourself now from you're walking around with your clipboard and you got your door hangers and you're just going to everybody's houses. You sound like you're literally stopping by to do them a favor, which is what you were doing right. anyway, because you had a construction site going on, you know? So in right. another approach that you can use, and I know I'm kind of jumping all over the board here, but until we kind of get a rhythm with our calls, what we want to talk about each time, we'll just kind of go with some topics that are relevant to you right now. 
Um, one of the things is a thing that I love to do when I, when I knock during a construction site is I like to act like I'm not even going there for an appointment. So if it's right across the street, didn't you mention that that house is right across the street? Here's how you could approach that. Knock, knock, knock. And it's like, Hey, how's it going? I'm really sorry to bother you. Um, we're actually doing a roof across the street for your neighbors, the Jeffersons or whatever. Um, we're going to be working on it probably the full day today, maybe a little bit into tomorrow, depending on how much we get done. Um, but just need to let you know, you know, be careful if you're driving out there. We're going to have a magnet out there picking up nails and things like that. But if any debris or anything blows over in your yard, I want to just give you my card. Like, give me a call. I'll come and take care of it for you, okay? And they're like, oh, okay. And uh, normally what I miss, I skipped a huge part in there. Normally I'm like, yeah, we're doing the roof because um, we actually, their insurance company paid to replace it because, you know, that hailstorm a few weeks ago? Yeah, well, they actually had some damage on there, and we checked it out, and the insurance company came out and uh, paid for it to be replaced because it was damaged. So anyway, we're going to be working on that. You know, let me know if any, anything blows into your yard. Sorry for the noise. It's going to be noisy for a day or so, but it'll be done before you know it. And then almost I'm turning to walk away, and then almost like an afterthought. I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I didn't even ask. Um, have you guys had anybody check your roof out for you yet? No. It's like, okay, well better safe than sorry. Um, we do free inspections. Like most of the houses in this area probably have damage considering that, you know, these people did, these people did, these people did, etc. You might not have damage, but you never know until you look. Um, I have to come back here anyway on Thursday. Like I could pop by at two or would four work better for you guys. Now it's not even a sales sure. pitch at all. It was like an afterthought, like, Oh, by the way, so their guard is totally down and they're like, what a nice young man coming over to offer to pick up trash if it blows in the yard, you know? And They would uh, say that about you? Well, yeah, what a nice young man. Depends <laughs> on if I have makeup on that day or not. Depends on how ratchet I'm looking that day. <laughs> if it's 100 degrees humid and I'm just melting, maybe they say what a nice young man. I don't know. 